The Political Affairs Committee Nagaland along with key stakeholders today appealed to the centre to elevate the ongoing Naga peace talks to the highest political level by appointing an interlocutor of political or ministerial level who has the confidence and mandate of the government. The appeal was made during resolutions adopted at the first consultative meet on Naga issue convened by the Nagaland government with all stakeholders including tribal hohos, civil society organizations, church bodies, students unions and political parties amongst others. Well, the meet also resolved to appeal to all Naga political groups and national workers to refrain from any further factionalism or creation of new organizations. The House also appreciated the negotiating parties, which includes the Government of India and the Naga political groups, for continuing to uphold the principles of the ceasefire agreements and ensuring that there is no breakdown of the talks despite several challenges and hurdles. Meanwhile, Minister and PAC Member Secretary KG Kenye said that the talks must pick up again. He also said that the Naga political groups should hammer out differences and reach an understanding to ensure one approach with the Government of India. We had a political affairs committee meeting with various tribal hohos, mass-based civil society organizations, other relevant organizations and associations with our PCCs also, headed by our Chief Minister, our Council of Ministers, our two MPs were also there, and representatives from all mass-based organizations were there. It is in connection with our ongoing dialogues and our political issue with the government of India. As you are all aware, it's been quite some time since we have been uh, not able to engage with uh, the people, the stakeholders. The government, after the PSC has been formed, felt it necessary to do this kind of consultations. First, because our approach to the problem this time is from the people's angle. All the while, in the previous governments too, PSCs have been directly engaging with the Naga political groups. This time around, we thought we should go through the people. Therefore, it culminated in today's meeting. We had a very healthy, homely, and uh, very intimate meeting where everyone who were represented, the mass-based organization, all tribal hohos have expressed their concern on the stalemates that have taken place in the progress of our talks between the negotiating parties, that is, the NPGs, and the government of India. So, there was a strong feeling that the talks must pick up again. And this time, we, the House, wish that uh, the government of India too comes out seriously and that the talks should be alleviated to the level of at least a senior minister at the union government's level, a proper interlocutor should be appointed again for our talks, as it used to be. And uh, that uh, initiative 
to pursue an end to our long drawn, too long drawn political dialogues, the byproducts of which, if kept unresolved, will take a toll, a heavy toll on both the sides, that is, on the government of India as well as the state and the people, the Naga people. The House also extended our request and appeal to all our national workers to sink their differences and uh, reach an understanding, see eye to eye, and try to make a single, a single document and a single approach to the government of India.